Jamie, I wanted to get your um, feelings about these federal charges. Do we have Jamie? There you are, Jamie. You know, yes. one of the charges that interests me the most is, is these hate crime charges. I mean, the McMichaels have said, and it's pretty clear, that they went after him uh, initially because they thought he was someone who was committing crimes in the neighborhood. I'm wondering if you think the feds have the horses to, to get a hate crime conviction in this case. Well, at this point, no. I, you know, but the thing about a grand jury federal prosecution is that we don't know what the evidence is. You know, they release what they choose to release. And even to some extent, the defense is not entitled to some of the grand jury testimony without a court order or, you know, a pending trial. So we don't know exactly what's been presented to the grand jury in this case, Michael. But, you know, some of the things that would need to be presented, I think, in order to um, establish that this was a crime that at least in substantial part was based on the race of the victim would be communications between the defendants um, before and potentially after the crime. You know, we know that this took two months before any charges were issued. And at least based on what's been presented publicly, uh, you know, these gentlemen presented their story. McMich McMichaels presented their story. It was relatively uncontested. So what did they say for the two months after that? You know, were there things said that would support the contention that this was at least based on race? And look, we can use some level of common sense here. Um, Mr. Arbery was a very young man. Um, uh, whatever they thought was going on in that home, I don't think there's any public um, reports that there was a crime being committed. It was a vagrancy, a trespassing complaint. So let's just kind of flip this around and suggest that a 22-year-old, 23-year-old Caucasian woman was in this same uh, partially built residence seen on camera. Would that elicit the same response? We know it would not. No, we, are, we, know, we know for a fact it wouldn't, Jamie, because there were right. other couples that were seen right. in, the, in the house, uh, white couples uh, walking through their right. house. It's something that's not that uncommon. That's right, that's right. So, you know, we have this level of inference that we can draw on, and I suspect that over the two months that these gentlemen were arguably under investigation, there were some communications that the federal government has in their possession. And in, in their mind, they're able to establish that, but for the race of Mr. Arbery, he'd still be alive today. And um, you know we're gonna see that play out, but I think that's what's gonna be necessary as it sits here in the public perception today, in all fairness to the defendants, because I think it's important that that's the case. No, I mean, on its face, there's no, no evidence that there's a hate crime yet, but I think we have to give the federal government the benefit of the doubt and some time.